Good afternoon, everybody. Um, I'm sorry I've been missing in action the last few days. It's just been busy around here. This afternoon, I wanted to come on and say thank you. Um, I got some more papers from Aunt Beck's Painty Paper Swap, and I wanted to show them to you and say thank you. Uh, this one's from Mary, Mary Dale from the Mary LTA, and this one's from Lisa from Lisa My Eclectic Life. And girls, thank you very much. I'm sorry they came earlier in the week, and or yeah, it must have been Monday that they came, and I just have not gotten to it till now. It's been kind of a hectic week. So anyways, I wanted to show you the beautiful papers that came, and yes, I did peek. Um, it was just beyond me not to peek. So, um, and I can't show you the fronts, but the fronts of the envelopes are decorated just as pretty as the, uh, as the backs. And Mary sent me Miss um, Penelope's stamp, which I really appreciate. Um, and she's just thanking me for the painty papers that I sent her. So <clears throat> this was sort of a rack swap. It was it was just a, a, a exchange of papers and ideas. And Mary says that she's just learning the um, jelly plate, but she sure does have a, a knack for it. I, I just love this cityscape. Um, it gives you places to journal if you want, and there's it, and. I, I never know if you guys can really see the colors that I see because they're really pretty. Um, and this one, she I got this fun uh, wooden tree that she's been using on her jelly plate, and that's fabulous. And this one has got pinks and purples in metallics. So, oh, and she sent me some borders. I forgot about the borders. Um, <clears throat> we, I was learning my jelly plate i had just gotten it out of the package when mary asked if i could if i had a way to jelly print just on the borders and there's a whole tutorial on that a little ways back but mary's been working on it we figured out how to do it in the book so these are fabulous mary um oh look at this tree one and the first one was cardstock white, and this one is too. Oh, look. Okay, she must have taken the um, stamp from the tree that she stamped on the jelly plate and then just stamped it directly on the paper because they're beautiful colors, and they, they're just gorgeous, Mary. This one's really fall. For some reason, I'm not putting these back correctly, so there's going to be hard to put in the envelope if I don't take care of it right. Oh, and I saw one of these. Somebody else had gotten a page, and I just love this. Um, and I'm not sure exactly how she did it. I probably need to watch some of her videos that I haven't seen. But um, this says art. And she has to have a stamp. She may have a rubber stamp that she's carved. But there's some really pretty yummy snuff around the edge. Oh, and that looks like a person. Do you guys see the person? The, the silhouette of the person? Mary, I, don't, I think you've got the jelly plate down just beautifully. And this one has the flowers are not from the jelly plate so i don't know if she's drawn them in or just what but there's flowers along the edge and then she has this lovely little fun house oh and this one it's all yellow and yummy but there's um design and pattern in it that's hard to see and it's really gorgeous it looks like butterflies. Yes, it's butterflies. <laughs> Mary, you have come up with some amazingly different ideas on the jelly plate. This is fabulous. And she's printed on... Mary takes what part composition notebook. So I'm guessing maybe that's a composition notebook page. And I love that paper. It's funny how sturdy that composition notebook paper is, but this one has the most beautiful gold 
and bronzes and then there's this little bit of purple in it that is just gorgeous oh and the bird stamped on the other side in yummy teals and purples okay let's, oh okay and then one of the things we had talked about Mary uses her painty paper notebook for um, what she calls her scribble journal, and it's just for ideas and things. And so in Becky's group, we talked about doing uh, spaces where you could write into your journals, and because sometimes it's hard to write over the paper. And Mary, I don't know what you used on the jelly plate for this one, but this texture is just yummy. And there's that stamp that was in the yellow. You can see it better. It's more of a design. And there's journal spots and and the the, the same butterfly designer. Maybe it's a like a Celtic knot is in this one. So pretty. Ooh, they just keep going. Okay, Mary was using a, a writing, a, a script stamp the other day on something else, and I think maybe that's what that is, is that she has stamped with paint with a script stamp. And this one's got a beautiful border, and again, she's got this beautiful copper sparkly. Ooh, pretty. That looks like giant puzzle pieces for the journaling spot. How fun. And circles and borders. Uh, Mary, you've got this down. <laughs> oh, well, there's more. Woo, Mary. Oh, look at the fun uh, little spots that are in this one. It kind of looks like bricks. And this piece of paper feels funny, uh, not funny, but feels yummy. Uh, it's, it's, it's like whatever the paint is, it's really smooth and really creamy. Oh, look how pretty that is. It's kind of like the ocean here. This is awesome, Mary. And there's another one of the houses. Oh, fun and different colors. I love these houses as journal spots. Mary, these are beautiful, beautiful, beautiful papers. Thank you so very much. And thank you very, very much. And these are gorgeous. You've got it down. Now, I want to do Lisa's package. And um, Lisa from My Eclectic Life. And Lisa, there's another different stamp on the front. It's really cool. It looks like another hand carved stamp. And this one looks like it's a, one of Lisa's hand carved stamps, which that must have been a big piece of rubber to stamp to cut that off. And uh, again, this is from Aunt Beck's swap. So, oh, this is, she used a long piece of paper. I used a lot of long papers too, because the idea that I thought of was to, to seal them here. And then your journal has a tuck spot in it so that you can tuck little things into it. But isn't that pretty with the yellow background? And then I think Lisa has a stencil that's sort of like that. So that might have been the ink that the stencil picked up off the jelly plate. But then look at this side. I have no idea, but that is gorgeous how she did that. It has, it almost has to be a stamp because the color is the lines, not the inside piece. So, and then this is just a beautiful metallic turquoise. Lisa, that's beautiful. Thank you. Okay, let's see here. I need to do this right so I can put them back. Oh, and this one is, oh, yes. This is really pretty. It's, um, again, a metallic purple. And then there's this little bit of orange stenciled over the top of it. And that's a different weight of paper, too. 
Um, Lisa has, uh, it's a, a protector for the bottom of your sink. I have to have one in my stash of um, mark making tools too. And uh, the, can you see the, well, there's one of them. You can see the flower right there. Well, the whole thing, let me turn it this way, see if the whole thing is made up of these different flowers and it's, it's like a rubber mat and she's used it either on her jelly plate or as a stamp and it's really cool. Uh, oh, this one's got another one of those. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? There must be 15 colors in there. That's gorgeous, Lisa. Um, there, it's burgundies and teals and greens and gold. So pretty. And then this must be where she stenciled, but it must be ink that she used to stencil because there's no texture like it's paint. Either that, or it might be some of that um, delusions. I'm not, I'm not sure. Some of the girls were using a different kind of paint than I have, and it was smooth, and that's really pretty, Lisa. Circles, my favorite. My favorite, my favorite. I love circles. Oh, and look at how pretty colors. There's purples and teals and, and rust. This one looks like a planet. Aren't they gorgeous? Oh, and this one has, oh, you can really see the flowers in this one. There's flowers there and flowers here and maybe a doily there. Oh, gorgeous, Lisa, just gorgeous. Oh, that one's, can you guys see? Oh, that's so yummy. And the, the metallic has given the paper, it's like, it feels like leather. It's just yummy, yummy. There's teals and purples on top of it. It's just, ugh. And then this side, like I said, the whole piece of paper feels like leather. And that is just ugh, so many colors, so pretty. Oh my gosh. I peeked, but I didn't look real well. This is a piece of black paper with lines in it. I have no idea where, but it looks like it came off a paper pad. But look at this. That is absolutely gorgeous. That is to die for beautiful. Um, Lisa, that's, that's just oof, yummy. Now, I don't know, but it has, I would guess it, I think Lisa has a big stencil. I'm not sure, but I think she does. That's got, it's like a spiral in it, but it's just so pretty. And she sent me one of her doilies. Becky sent me a doily too. I have to get some of mine out. I used them the first day and then I didn't think to use any more. But isn't that beautiful? It's where she's used it on the jelly plate. This is like a paper doily. And it's funny, but the flowers have, are almost silver. I wonder if the doily was silver to start with. It might have been that the doily was silver to start with. But isn't that beautiful? And then... Now, I don't know if this is tissue paper or deli paper. Um, Lisa, that's, it might be deli paper. But it's really pretty. There's marks from the spiral stencil. There's the flower stencil. And there's a little bit different on the back. And then, of course, because it's deli paper, the front shows through to the back. Oh, that's yummy. That's yummy, that's yummy. Thank you, Lisa. Um, thank you, Mary. I just, I cannot tell you girls how bad I feel for not getting um, this done sooner in the week. 
but I will tell you that I love every last one and and everybody who has swapped with me has sent me the most gorgeous papers and I just I just cannot thank you all enough um, and that's what I have to say for today and girls thank you very much and guys thanks for watching I really appreciate it have a great afternoon go have some fun and make some art